seguidores de My Cosmetic Surgery, ya llegó el día de Yeti Lopez. Cuéntame, porque ya estás lista, tu, tu ropa lo dice, que ya estás lista para entrar al salón. Ya, ya. Y bueno, ha llegado el gran día, desde diciembre esperando para tu gran cambio, luego de que ganaste ese concurso que lanzó My Cosmetic Surgery para despedir el 2018. Y se te han ido estos días, sé que como agua. Sí. <risa> cuéntame, cuéntame qué se siente ya estar a un pasito de cumplir el sueño. Ya estoy, ya tengo ganas ya de que cerrar los ojos y abrir ya y... Y está y, lista. Y, ya, ya está <risa> Cuéntame, ¿estás nerviosa? ¿Estás tranquila? ¿Un poquito ansiosa? ¿Cómo pasaste la noche ayer? No, realmente me desperté cada, cada hora, yo me despertaba no sabía qué hora era. Y sí, estoy súper nerviosa. ¿Llegaste aquí desde tempranito? Sí, desde las 7 de la mañana estoy de <risa> Señores, es normal que, te, que tenga un poquito de nervios, se va a someter a, a un procedimiento quirúrgico que no es lo habitual, o sea, no vamos por la vida así haciendo una cirugía, <risa> pero ella está en las mejores manos, así que yo sé que aunque el nerviosismo sea normal, ella sabe que está, que está con la mayor seguridad y eso es lo más importante. Cuéntame, Jessy, porque ya te hicieron los laboratorios, sabes que hay un, unos test que se hacen antes de entrar a la cirugía y de inmediato va a estar también el el anestesista para hacerle algunas preguntas sobre, por supuesto, su historial médico, para el uso de la anestesia en específico, y por supuesto que va también a estar el doctor Jeffrey Lacaso. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a hacer una liposucción con un poco de transporte en los buttocks y un poco de transporte en los hips para que se haga la forma. Así que lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a mostrar cómo voy a hacer algunas de las marcas y algunas de las cosas que estoy pensando cuando estoy pensando en la operación. You know, obviamente, you know, el objetivo es que podamos conseguir esto the waist into here to really bring that in, snatch that in, get it nice and tiny. So all the markings are based upon this. The important thing is that, you know, you have to realize that, you know, the markings are very important for us as surgeons because once the patient's lying down on the table, every, you know, the effect of gravity and how they look standing up is all, is all out of play. So the, these are very important. So typically, you know, I use a variety of different colors, but the first thing I do is, is you know, draw the patient's anatomy of, of where everything is so that, I can get myself aligned, and that's what I use the black marker for. So now I'm just drawing the, the top portion of her buttocks, so that when I'm when I'm injecting, I can see. Now this is this is the lower portion of that. This part right here is, is that diamond. It's the area that defines the the, the two buttocks. It's very important um, to get this down to nothing because that that creates the overall shape and illusion. You know, the waistline and the liposuction is is probably one of the most important things in this operation. Um, because you know the amount of fat that survives is typically on the low end. Typically, somewhere around 40 to 50 percent of the fat that we that we put in there is, is going to survive. So, bringing this waistline in nice and tiny really creates the illusion of, of having the bigger buttocks. So, the two of them combined together really makes the difference. You know, I always mark where the narrowest portion of the waistline, which is at the lowest border of the 12th rib, and then I kind of just draw on the patient what I'm trying to visualize on the operation. You know that hourglass shape. So I kind of draw, draw and, and, and define that. So afterwards, I, I draw my anatomical lines. Now I'm drawing my areas of fat. So like I said, this is important because once she lies down, everything looks different. So I'm just marking out the areas that I need to liposuction, you know, where her, her rolls are, um, arms down, bottom, bottom, so that I can get the best shape that I need to when I'm doing the procedure. And after that, now I mark out, you know, how I'm going to in inject the buttocks. I always mark the central portion of the buttocks because that's the area where there's the most amount of projection. I mark the middle of the buttocks because that's where I need to kind of fill in this hip over here. You can see she's kind of straight here. So the goal is to get that a little bit of some shape and curve here and then to bring the waist on in nice and tiny. That's going to get the best, the best shape. It's all about that you know, that, that hip to waist ratio that we always talk about, which was, you know, invented many, 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 you know, thousands of years ago. And that same proportion of, of hip to waist ratio stands today. But, um, you know, as you can see, you know, this is what we're trying to accomplish. Aggressive liposuction, bringing the waist, projection of the buttocks, some hip. It's all about creating that, that curve and just creating the statue out of this block of marbled fat that we got here right now.